today I'm going to be building a Bloxburg house except I can only use the colors white and black. And this idea was inspired by a random person with no videos 5118. So thank you for that idea. And if you guys want your IDs featured in any video, all you have to do is comment them below. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've already got like a little layout to go with. I love how I say little layout. It's literally like a two-story mansion, but whatever. And I decided for the theme, we're going to go with like a modern house because we can only use white and black. It wouldn't really make sense if we done like a, a blush house, for example. However, even though I can only use white and black, there was no rules on saying that I can't change the texture. For example, I could have like white concrete. And I mean, I don't know. I think it kind of looks nice. Okay, now here's my question. If I can use white and black, if I use the color wheel, can I use like stuff in between the color wheel? Like shades of gray? You know what? I'm going to ask you guys. Okay, so I said I'm doing a black and white challenge. Can I use the color wheel to use different shades of white? And choice one is no, you can struggle. Only use white and black. No color color wheel and then choice two is of course boo you can use the color wheel say no <gasps> don't you dare are you kidding me everyone is voting no you can struggle okay well apparently everyone wants me to suffer and not use the color wheel yay i love that for me no color wheel okay so i think we're gonna have like a white house oh wait this front bit here because this is coming out i feel like this would look really cool if it was like black you know what guys i'm not gonna lie i have high hopes for this house oh <gasps> look what i just done i just picked the linen i wasn't focusing and i accidentally picked the linen in for the roof. Nah, -uh, girl, you gotta pick white. Actually, for the roof, I think we might do slate. Oh, but I do not like that shade of slate. Usually, I would do like a dark stone gray, but nah, I guess we're doing black. Actually, you know what? Some of the walls can be like vertical planks. You know what? Why not? We'll spice it up a little bit. Again, I think that's the outside all painted. <gasps> I'm actually scared. Now to start decorating the front yard. So this is obviously where the garage is gonna be. Okay, if I paint the entire garage black, you can't even see it. There we go. That's a little bit better. You know what? I'm feeling fancy. We can have like a nice fancy door at the front. Also, for some reason, I really want the door to blend in with the wall, so we're gonna make it the same texture. Okay, what if I paint this roof white? I don't feel like the black's kick in it. Okay, we can either have white or black or white. So many options. You know what? We're gonna stick with white. Now, what I'm going to do to make this house, like, really stand out more, because right now, there's not much, like, flare going on. So what we're going to do is outline the roof of LED lights, and obviously, we can't make the LED lights black, so we have to make it white. Oh! <gasps> I just realized something. Guys, I'm actually gonna cry. All the lighting in the house has to be white. <laughs> oh no. Whoever recommended me this idea wishes for me to fail. I remember when I first started playing Bloxburg, I would always outline my roof of LED lights and I thought I was so fancy. I'm like, I am like the most fancy person in all of Bloxburg for doing this. No one has thought of this. I'm so creative. A big long driveway, white concrete because we cannot do gray. I want to have like a little garden here, but I just realized all the plants are going to be white or black. See, this garden looks cute, right? It looks cute. What about now? Does it still look cute? It looks like I just bleached the plants. Also, for some reason, I can't paint the cactuses so haha -ha. i'm gonna have little touches of green by cheating the system is it bad that i kind of like this like i think it's kind of cute now to outline the pathway with some lights also i don't know if i want to have a fence out here i usually layer my fences so we can have like a round hedge underneath this fence and now to paint it white yay you know what i don't hate it it just kind of looks like um snow i don't hate it okay another thing i want to add to this front yard is some plants along here just to give it a little bit more flair more flavor more oomph if you will okay and i think our front yard is finished. It actually doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I was expecting it to look worse. This is where it starts to get funky, aka doing the inside. I think our safest option is just like coloring all the walls white. Actually, maybe this wall can be like a feature wall. So we can use slate for this. So when you walk in, this is kind of the entry area and it kind of leads into the living room. So that is what we're going to be working on first, love. Slap a carpet, fireplace, TV, a few lights and a few plants, of course. I think my technique with today's video is like placing down the furniture first and then coloring everything white. That way I can kind of like see what I'm doing. Also, what I love about this front yard, this front yard is that it actually extends into the second story. So it's like one big wall. I love it. Okay, if we go into comfort, what's like a chair that would look good if it was white? Actually, you know what would look so good? Sophisticated lounges. These actually look so good in white. I'm kind of avoiding using black at the moment because if you paint something black, you can barely see it. That's why I was hoping you guys would allow me to use the color wheel so I could do like a lighter shade of black, but no. You guys just love watching me struggle in these videos. I don't know what's my obsession with doing this, but every single time I place down a lounge, I'll always have a little armchair in the corner. I don't know why. Okay, and what can we have on this fireplace? I feel like we need a signature piece up the top here. Should I just be basic and add a plant? Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, I will. I feel like the less furniture we add, the better the house is gonna look. Like, we can't have a messy, cluttered house because, I don't know, I just feel like it won't look good. I feel like a nice, clean, minimalistic house would look really nice, especially if we're only using black and white. Wait, we need curtains. I really need to stop forgetting to add curtains. It's like getting a problem. Okay, what I do with my curtains, right? I put long panel curtains first, and then I put these long curved curtains on top like this. I don't know when I started using this technique, but ever since I started, I cannot stop. <sighs> I'd say this is a nice layout for the living room. I'm just scared to paint everything. So um, let's get started, shall we? So I guess we can start off with these lounges, make everything white. You can't really see the pillows. So what we're going to do is change the material to like carpet. So technically it's still white, but the material shows up a little bit more. Actually, you know what? We haven't used black lately. We can have black pillows and blankets. Guys, this is the part where I'm scared of. Painting all the lights white. I'm gonna cry. Are you ready? I love having white lighting. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm in a mental hospital. Even these plants are looking whack. You know what this feels like? It feels like my blocks bag hasn't loaded yet. Like I just got into the game and none of the furniture items are loading. Like tell me that isn't what it looks like right now. As for the entry area here, I usually just put like a little console table with some shoes on the floor. I don't know about your guys' household, but every time I walk in my house, I have to take off my shoes. Wait, can we have paintings in this house? Yeah, why not? We're gonna have paintings in this house. I'm gonna try and find like white decals. Okay, and on this console table, we can have our car keys because, you know, can't forget your car keys. Oh, actually, you know what screams modern house? These designer coffee table books. I guess we can just use like seek ceiling lamps up here. Oh my gosh, this is burning my eyes. Alaska Violet faces her worst fear, overhead lighting. Also, this is going to be the garage. So the reason this is open is because I want to have like a frame sliding door here to have like an open concept. Okay, so there's our cute little entry area. I guess while we're here, we can finish the garage, the garage the garage. Okay, we've got the Bloxus TS or the board bullet. You know, I just bought this board bullet, so we're gonna use it. The only time this black and white trend looks good is when you're painting a car, but that's literally it. I honestly don't think I'm struggling that much. Well, yet. The only thing I am really struggling with, though, is the lighting. Like, white lighting can look good, but if you overuse it, it'll look a little bit crazy. A little bit funky bananas. And we don't want our house looking funky bananas, do we? No. No, we do not. I was reading one of my comments the other day, and someone goes, Alaska, you need to stop mocking my British accent. I do not sound like that. And for that, I have to say, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> uh, I'll stop. No, I probably won't. Why'd I place a plant down here? I don't even want a plant. I really want to have a chandelier above the car. I'm just afraid that it's going to look stupid. Like, usually I would have, like, this industrial round chandelier above the car. What would happen if I painted this white? Oh, actually, not much. It looks fine. Okay, but side note, this industrial chandelier is actually a good lighting option because it's not too bright. My Bloxburg has fire hydrants? I had no idea. You know what? We'll have a fire hydrant. Can Bloxburg even go on fire? I feel like if Bloxburg was like The Sims and like things could catch on fire, it would be very, very funny. Like, can you imagine like cooking something on Bloxburg and then your house just catches on fire? <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's probably not a good idea because that would probably happen to me. Bloxburg, don't listen to my IDs. I'm going crazy. And I also want to have some like little tires in here. So I'm just going to use like a vertical cylinder and adjust it like that and then paint it black. And I mean, there you go. You have some tires. You actually can't see a thing. Okay, now that the garage is done, the next room we have is, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my my lord. I just realized this is where the stairs were meant to go. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Where am I gonna put the stairs? I'm actually so silly. Like, who forgets to add stairs? You know what? It's fine. We'll just add them, like, right here. It is fine. It is okay. There we go. Boom. Stairs. Okay, now the last thing I need to add in this living room is obviously, like, a chandelier. Because that's the whole reason I made it, like, a massive concept. Boom shakalaka. Suspended arm chandelier. I don't know if any of you guys watch The Walking Dead. But if you do, boom shakalaka. Boom shaka. Boom shakalaka. Boom shaka. Oh my gosh. Nah, I can't. Look at this. I feel like I'm descending into the heavens above with this. I can't use this. We're just gonna have to have black lighting. I'm sorry. I really want to have a chandelier here because it'll look pretty, but it'll be way too bright. So there we go. Very beautiful. Very scrumptious. Okay, now we've got the dining table and the kitchen. I think we're gonna have the kitchen over in this corner. I'm actually so scared for this kitchen. I don't know why. I'd say this is actually a really big kitchen. So we're definitely not gonna run out of space. That's for sure. Actually, considering we're doing like a modern kitchen, I feel like it's only fitting if we use modern counters. $1,240. Let's do it. I'm feeling fancy. And in a minute, I'm about to feel broke. Wait, these modern cabinets are actually kind of cute. I did used to bully them because they were so expensive. Like, why do I low-key love them? Oh my gosh, wait, I just realized I can make the backdrop marble. White marble looks so good. Now just to paint everything white. Ha <laughs> ha. And for the counters, I feel like the top should be marble and maybe the rest of the counter should be black. I feel like that could look really nice. Oh, and I stand corrected. That actually looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. I 
think the kitchen's gonna be the best room in this house. Because when you think of a modern kitchen, you just think of black and white. It literally feels like I'm just doing like a modern kitchen right now. White LED strips behind the counters to make it bright enough. And I mean, look at the difference that makes. <gasps> you know what? We're gonna have black tableware. <gasps> but I kind of love it. I remember when someone asked me to do a fully black house. And I'm like, you understand if I done a fully black house, you wouldn't be able to see a single thing in that house. I usually put my coffee in these jars, but this can kind of be like the sugar. Looks like something a modern kitchen would have. Maybe these decorative vases in the corner. Instead of a regular island bench, we're gonna have a round island bench by using a vertical cylinder. Well, technically two vertical cylinders. And to be extra fancy, we can have like a semi-transparent cylinder on top with a good old decorative lemon bowl. I love lemons. And finally, the thing I'm dreading, which is adding lighting. Ugh, it's so bright, it actually hurts. Okay, and I think that is the kitchen done. Am I missing something? Probably, you know me. Now, as for the dining table, this is kind of across from the kitchen. I don't know why I made this so big. I mean, look at the size of this. This is gonna be one big dining table. It's okay, we shall persevere. Considering we're going with a modern house, we can just use this modern dining table. I'm pretty sure if you search up modern in the building category, it comes up with like a bunch of modern items. Why did I not know this? Well, in that case, we can have matching modern stools on these tables. And I mean, look guys, we don't even have to paint the table. It's already black and white. <gasps> I just realized I forgot the sink in the kitchen. <laughs> There we go, guys, we've got a sink. I know there was someone yelling at me in the comments like, Alaska, you didn't add the sink. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And you know what? I haven't used this modern light fixture in like a hot minute, so why not? We'll add that. Oh, but it's not light enough. Also, I feel like this dining table definitely needs a rug underneath it. Oh yeah, that definitely looks better. I don't know why it's so incredibly dark in here. Okay, what about these tripod floor lamps? We need something that doesn't let in too much light. Okay, I guess they can kind of work. Oh, I don't know. Unless I paint this back wall black. Oh, wait, that looks good. Oh my gosh. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this clock actually. A painting of my face. Salem, you can't drink that, that is coffee. Oh my gosh. My cat just tried to drink my coffee and he just gave me the weirdest look. Like, are you trying to poison me? I feel like a nice console table would look really nice underneath here. And I just figured out that Bloxburg has these deers, so. You know what, these deers, they kind of just remind me of Christmas. And you know what, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm so excited for Christmas. I cannot wait to decorate my room. Okay, and I think the dining table is done. The reason I'm not adding heaps of furniture is because we're going for like a minimalistic look. So I feel like the less furniture we add, the better it's gonna look. Okay, so as for this second floor, I decided to do like a sky roof up the top here to like let in more natural light. I don't know why I decided to make this house so big, but you know me, always going above and beyond. Maybe if I add wall trims, it'll make the walls look, like, I don't know, a little bit better. I mean, yeah, it kind of worked. Okay, so for the second story, we have like a little bit of empty space here. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, I'm a genius. I'm a genius, hold on. We're gonna make this a little like waterfall aquarium moment. So we're gonna add two waterfalls like this and we're gonna kind of make this like a little garden, like copy the stuff from outside and then add it like up here and add two windows like this. Damn, okay, I'd say that looks pretty cool. It doesn't really make that much sense logically, but it's okay. Logic just goes out the window when playing Bloxburg. The bedroom can go there and then the bathroom can go here. And instead of adding the bathroom on the first floor, I decided to add it on the second floor. Okay, so because this is a bathroom, the floor is obviously going to be made out of tiles. And I reckon for the walls, we can stick to marble. I really want to have the bath along these three windows. And I have like the perfect idea for what I want to do. So in the middle here, we're going to have a tilt bathtub. As you can see, there's still gaps on the front and the back. So we're going Going to fill this in by adding a shape. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can add candles at the front and the back. And you're probably like, Alaska, you can't add candles because they're going to be white. For example, this is what it would look like if I painted all the candles white. Absolutely insane. So we're actually going to paint the wicker black so it's not like way too bright. See, I feel like that is the perfect shade of white. Because we have such limited space, I feel like if I put a wall here, I can put the shower on the right and then the toilet on the left. Should I just be an idiot and buy a luxury shower set for $1,700? Yes, I will be buying it. I've only bought this shower like once. And I only realized a couple of days ago, this literally has a light on top. Like, you want a red shower? You can have a red shower. You want a pink shower? Boom, you had a pink shower. Like, I'm sorry, how cool is that? And we also need some storage to put all our shampoo and conditioner. So, you know me, I'm just gonna put a little inset right here. Should I also put the toothbrushes in here? I feel like people are gonna judge me, but I brush my teeth in the shower. Like, I feel like I'm the only person who does that. It's just, it saves time. Okay, so far the shower's looking good, but we still need the toilet and the sink. So I think I'm gonna put the toilet here. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, the sink. I actually love this floating sink. I think this is the best thing that Bloxburg has ever added. Like, it is just everything. I don't know if you guys have snapped 
Snapchat, but like if you have Snapchat, you know how there's like one year ago today. I got my one year ago today memory and it was like me playing Bloxburg with my friends for the first time. And it was like, this game stresses me out because I didn't know you had to like work to get money in Bloxburg. And I'm like, why do I have to work in Bloxburg? And if you told that person she would be making Bloxburg YouTube videos, she probably would not believe you. She'd probably laugh in your face, but here we are with my 400,000 Alaskians. <laughs> like I genuinely love you guys so much. Like you are my literal family. That one random person who watches my videos just so they can see me build is like, girl, shut up and just keep building, please. Okay, and I think the bathroom is finished. It actually looks so good. And over here, we've got the bedroom. And instead of putting curtains on every single one of these windows, I just put it on like the two ends or maybe in the corner as well. And we're gonna have a nice fancy transitional double bed. We're gonna have white doona covers with black blankets. Do you guys remember back in the day when I hated placing pillows in Bloxburg? It's now my favorite thing to do. I love doing it. The one thing with having a white and black house is that everything just looks so clean and fresh. I know those pillow covers are nice and cold and crisp. Wait, can we place books underneath here? <gasps> we can. I actually have so many books that I haven't read yet. Like, stop buying books. You're not gonna read them. Okay, and at the end of this bed, we can have a little fancy bench right here. And I think over on this wall is where we're going to have the closet. I feel like this is kind of like a fancy room, so we can add these fancy dresses. Maybe like an ottoman in the corner, like when you're sitting down, changing your shoes. Oh, speaking of shoes, we need slippers. Okay, this corner is done. As for this corner here, I feel like this is like the perfect place to add a vanity table. And you know what? Instead of makeup, we're going to have a book. Okay, and the last thing we need to add in this room is obviously the lighting. Hello. So I think I'm just going to copy this chandelier from the garage because it doesn't let off like that much light. And there we go. We have our bedroom. Now the last room in this black and white house is obviously the balcony, which is back here. I have a few ideas for what I want to do with the balcony. I think what I might do is like a sun chair moment. So using these harp and lounge chairs, we can have like two of them here with like an umbrella stand in the middle so we don't get burnt. Also because most of the exterior of the house is white, I think most of the stuff out here we can stick to black. Okay, what do we need on this table? Oh, we need some sunscreen, of course. My iconic glasses. Maybe a book in case you want to have a little read in the sun. Now back here is where I want to have the barbecue. So we can have our fancy $5,000 barbecue right here and like a few counters so we can chop up the meat. You know what guys, I'm feeling extra fancy today. We're gonna have a TV out here because why not? Okay, and just like that, our black and white house is all finished. Okay, so the black and white house comes to a total of 158,000. Honestly, it's not too bad. The garden is definitely questionable. And then coming inside, this generally looks like a black and white filter. The first thing we have is the entry area here. I think this was actually pretty cute. I love the New York decal. And then if we keep going here to the left, we have the garage. I don't know why I added these tires. You can't even see them. Good thing with garages is that they're like super simple. Like it doesn't matter what color you paint your car. It'll always look good. And then coming through here, we've got the living room. And honestly, I was expecting the living room to be so bad, but I kind of love it. It just looks like a very, very clean, minimalistic, modern house. I feel like this house just smells like fresh air and good vibes. Like I'm not kidding. This is something that I would want in like 2018. I'd search up like white, modern house, snow color. And this is the kitchen. It was all right. The lemon bowl kind of throws me off though, because it's like the only color in this house, the lemons, but everything else is completely black and white. And then across from the kitchen, we've got the dining table. This dining table is actually so cute. Again, with these decals, <gasps> I love them. If you guys want to find all my decals, they'll either be like on my Pinterest or they'll be on my Roblox profile. So you can follow me on Roblox or on Pinterest. It's up to you. And you can find all my cute decals. So yeah, that's the downstairs area. Not bad. Right, coming upstairs. Again, we just have some more modern art in a very extravagant hallway. I don't know what this piece was, but I kind of love it. And then through here, we have the bathroom. And honestly, out of all the rooms in this house, I think the bathroom actually turned out the best. Like the only time you would see this amount of white and black in a house is either like the bathroom or the kitchen. And I love the way this bathtub turned out with all the candles. I don't know why, it's just so cute and vibey and I love it. And this section right here, like right here, Mwah, chef's kiss. I love it. Although I don't know why, but every time I sit on these toilets, they're so high and elevated. Like I look like a little toddler sitting on a toilet. Okay, and then coming over here, we have the bedroom. I love this. I don't know why. I was obsessed with black and white when I was younger. So this is definitely like my dream bedroom back then. But now I definitely like to incorporate more colors just to make it a little bit more vibrant. Cause like if I stare at this house too long, it literally, it just looks like a black and white filter. I also made sure that all the decals were black and white <laughs> to really play into that 
that whole effect. So yeah, I've got our bed here, our little vanity table, and this is where we sit down and change our shoes. And then finally out here, we have the balcony. I actually love the fact that we have a balcony on the second floor. I think this is so cool. Good morning, go to work. Um, how about you shut up? I don't know how I was expecting this house to look, but but you know what? It's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So yeah, that was me building a Bloxburg house, but I could only use a black and white. Again, if you guys want your video ideas featured in a future video, make sure to comment them below and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.